want to go is Joe Schmidt, really, Shane, and we want to get your opinion. I mean, you were in that kind of player-led environment, is, is the phrase you hear. Is he, is he as much of a dictator as people say, or is it a kind of a, a balancing act? No, I think uh, having experience with him in Leinster and obviously the lads who uh, who were in the squad from Leinster over the years who had experience would understand what, what way he works and uh, he's had a good team around him uh, from his management team and the coaches he brought in that understand the way he works as well but I think the lads from the other provinces have probably been impressed with him mm -hmm. to that level of detail and it's not just an attack it's in defence as well and he kind of in video sessions he'll highlight body language he'll highlight lads if they're communicating and non-verbal communication which a lot of lads probably don't see the importance in but it, it does and then I think even from the clips there that you saw, everything's Joe was process orientated and you have to do this to get that. There's definitely a bit of that, but it's a template. And I think you can see the difference from when England got advantage, they took a drop goal and that was three points. Mm. Whereas one of Joe's thing is, listen, if we have advantage, let's go and have a go and have a crack. Mm. And you saw Conor Murray not obviously dropping it, looking for a penalty or taking an mm. easy option. He put a ball up and we scored a try from it, you know, so it's a template, it's a structure, but he wants guys to be adaptive and, you know... Uh, but what's, what, what's the role for you in that then? I mean, as one of the leaders of that group, are you kind of a lieutenant or are you very much a yes man? I mean, how no, do you no, express no, no. yourself? Well, listen, he's on the sidelines, you know, he so... He's player, player driven a lot though, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, he does, but it's Joe's game plan. Right. You know what I mean? And uh, people buy into it because it has worked and players get confidence from that. And when you see it working and you see, like his analysis before a game, even saw some of the clips there where they seem to attack in and around the back of the uh, scrum with uh, Jordy Murphy and Rob Carney, which you probably haven't seen before. And then at times there was that kind of uh, little, I think Tommy O'Donnell got the ball and just kind of left it off where usually you'd see a loop to Sexton. Mm. So there was obviously something that he was trying to exploit with soft shoulders in the English defence. Now it didn't pay off, but mm. his analysis of opposition is usually incredibly uh, detailed and it usually works.